Hi guys, welcome back. So today I decided to shake things up a little bit and bring some liner back in because it's very very rare that I do liner to be honest and this time I kind of wanted to make it a little bit smokier, a bit more dramatic, pair it with a red lip because I haven't worn a red lip in forever and I really like how it turned out and I hope you guys do too so if you want to see how I got this look then make sure to just keep watching. Alright, alright, alright. I'm so tired. So I haven't even prepped my skin yet so I think instead of my usual Elemis moisturiser I might try a bit of oil. This is the Rose Oil Blend from Pixi. I'm just going to take like a really really tiny amount because my skin's quite oily anyway but I've seen quite a lot of people use oil underneath their foundation because it just hydrates the skin so well. It looks so nice underneath. And if you have dry skin this would be a really really good idea. And then I'm going to take my two usual primers which I use basically every week. So it's just the Wonder Glow from Charlotte Tilbury and then the Professional from Benefit. I'm just going to jump straight into the foundation and the one that I really love at the moment is the Anastasia foundation stick. Um, I just really wish it was the right colour because <laughs> it's just slightly too light for me at the moment. Oh my god, look at this spot. Is this a joke? Let's cover that. Cover that bastard. Um, yeah, it's slightly, slightly too light, so I will mix um, a little bit of my Georgia Armani Luminous Silk um, just to kind of make the right shade. So I'm just going to take this Iconic London Kabuki brush and quickly blend that in. I'm going to go on top of that with my Armani Luminous Silk. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand and then just to blend that in, this time I'm going to use my damp sponge. Just go over it just to bring me to the shade that I want. Alright, now that that's done, I'm going to quickly put a bit of concealer on my lids just to act as like primer. Just because I have like a couple of veins and stuff that poke through, and I would rather it not. And like you can use a proper like eyeshadow base, but I just get on better with concealer. Just gonna pop some translucent powder, just to set that. I think I'm actually gonna dip back into my Anastasia Subculture palette because I haven't used it in a little while. First, I'm gonna go in with the shade Dawn, which is just the kind of generic transition shade. It's pretty nude. Oh my god, I have a stop. And I'm just going to run that into the crease, as per usual, nothing special about this. Just provides like a nice base. Next I'm just going to take a little bit of fudge, which is just the kind of deeper brown shade. Using the same fluffy brush, I'm just going to take that into the crease as well. I'm just going to wet my brush quickly with a bit of Fix Plus. I'm going to take this, which is the Adorn shade, and it's a really nice bronzy, goldy, yummy shade. I'm going to draw on my wing, and for liner, I'm just going to use my tattoo liner in the shade Trooper from Kat Von D. It's just the black one. And this is honestly amazing. If you struggle with wings at all, this is actually really, really easy to use. Because the point, it's like a pen, but it's really, really fine and you can get a nice little flick at the end. Now, I haven't done liner in a while. So I might take my sweet time with this. So just bear with. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm going to basically go straight in with the shade Rowdy, which is a really, really deep, plum, kind of purple aubergine shade. So I'm going to pick that up and then just start smoking really close to the lash line.
I'm also just going to pick up a little fluffy brush and in between I'm just going to keep blending it out. I'm also just going to dip into the Anastasia Artist palette just because I want to use this black shade called Coal. Um, I just want to put that really, really close to the liner just to kind of match the colour of the liner, obviously. Where I've been blending so much, it's kind of come underneath the wing thing, so I'm just going to take a bit more concealer in the same brush and just clean it up. Now just to finish this off, I'm going to add a little bit of my Midnight Cowboy Heavy Metal Glitter from Urban Decay. It's just in such a little easy kind of applicator. I'm just going to add some glitter. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and pop on some lashes. I'm first going to curl my lashes, put a bit of mascara on. Oh my god, you guys. Have you tried the Big Shot mascara from Maybelline? It's the best mascara I've ever tried in my life and it's drugstore and really affordable. It's honestly the best. I don't know what it is, whether it's the brush or the formula or just the combination of both, but it makes your lashes look so, so long and it doesn't make them clumpy and like the brush just kind of separates them all and like all your la uh, lashes and it just looks oh, so good. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on and then I'm gonna go in with these little beauties here. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. I absolutely adore the Iconics, but these are basically just the lighter version of them. And they're super long and wispy and oh, I'm really excited. Plus, most of the drama is kind of from the outer corner of the eye and that's obviously what I've got going on with the eyeshadow, so I feel like it'll match quite well. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. What am I going to do now? So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my eyes later. For now, I'm just going to take my Mink Foundation Stick from Anastasia. This is the shade that I use to cream contour. And I always like to take a tiny brush just to pop it on my nose. Now I'm just going to take another iconic London Kabuki brush and this time use it to blend out the cream contour. I'm trying to keep it pretty much where I placed it and lightly blend it out. These foundation sticks are amazing for blending out so you don't have to kind of try too hard. And after I've gone in with the brush I do also like just to go over it with the damp sponge again just to make sure it's all blended properly. Now to conceal, I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which is much loved, that's why everything has kind of come off the tube, but I'm just going to take this in a kind of triangle shape underneath the eye. And then this is when I'm just going to lightly tap all the way over my nose. Now, as always, obviously, I'm just going to set all of that using my RCMA No Colour Powder. I've just bought a new one, which is why it's nice and full now. And I'm just going to take that underneath my eyes. You can obviously use a brush for this if you want. I just prefer to use a damp sponge. I just like the finish that it gives. As for the rest of my face, I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Powder. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just basically set everything else. Perfect. So while I wait for all of that to bake, I think I'm just going to finish off my under eyes and I'm going to go back into my Anastasia Subculture Palette. Taking the shade um, Rowdy, I'm just going to take a super thin angled brush for the fine one. I'll just use my Zoeva one and I'm going to run that 
as close to the lower lashes as I can. Ooh, some pigmented. Then I'm going to take a fluffy pencil brush and I think I'm going to pick up just a little bit of Dawn, which is the transition shade. And then I'm just going to blend away. I'm going to take what's left of the banana powder in my Anastasia contour kit and just go over that. To bronze up my face, I'm going to take my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Surprise, surprise, I know, I never use it. And I'm just going to bronze up and contour. I think now I'm going to highlight, it's like my favourite part of doing makeup. And I'm going to use my Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I'm not sure which one to use. Mm. I might have to go for 143. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Oof. I love this so much. Anastasia highlights are so, so pretty. For blush, I wanted something more on the coral side, so I'm going to go with this uh, mango blush from Lil & Low. That was like one dip, and even that's too much. I'm a little crazy. I'm just going to go over with my foundation powder brush. Now it's just time for lips, and I've decided I'm going to go for a red lip today because I never, ever, ever wear red lips and I'm just feeling it and I feel like it will go with this as well so I'm going to start off with Ruby Woo um, lip pencil from MAC alright so I'm basically done now all I've got to do is finish off with a bit of Fix Plus So this is the final look you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this one, I tried something a little bit different, getting the bold lips out for fall and all that, but what I'm really excited for is all of the Halloween looks that I'm going to be doing in October, oh my god I just got like an order through of all the stuff for the kind of looks that I'm going to do, so if you want to see those then make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can keep up with me and all my videos, and I really hope to see you guys in the next one, bye!